Hi there everybody, Peter of England bringing you a video short. I hope to keep it short, I'm trying to get it between 5 and 10 minutes, um, but there's quite a few things I want to cover, so here goes. Um, if it isn't mentioned to you, then people don't tend to notice it. This is the world in which we live today. And what I want to try and address today is the fact that many people are still under the opinion that there are independent sovereign nation states existing in the world and the new world order is yet to attain its goal by being in charge of everything. Now, just look at it as it stands at the moment. If everything was um, like they try and portray, there are a lot of enemies of the West notably countries like um, previously Saudi Arabia, countries like Iran, countries like Syria, Lebanon, and the big baddie in the room at the moment, um, the Russians. Um, now, what I'd like you to realize is that if these individuals um, who are running these countries were actually enemies of the West, there is enough information that their security services managed to garner within a typical week or a month or a year that could do such damage to the administrative political machinery in the West that uh, the release of this would cause international mayhem. And equally, the other way is true. You have, in the United Kingdom, GCHQ, that's the head of the information gathering service for uh, the, the Secret Service and the British government, which is tied in with what's called Five Eyes, um, tied in with other Secret Service operations within the Commonwealth. You've got the NSA, you've got the CIA, you've got all these intelligence organizations that are totally listening to all information 24 hours a day on everything. And everything is being recorded and kept and using AI algorithms, filed, collated, and collected. They're doing it on you, yeah? They're doing it via the microphone on the phone. They're doing it through the images uploaded through WhatsApp and iCloud. They're doing it through the, the microphone and the video camera on your laptop. They are doing it through um, face recognition cameras. They are doing it in so many ways that every single piece of information is known by these agencies. So ask yourself this, how come, let's just look over since Trump was elected in 2016 and all the controversy on either side of the aisle, because I'm not saying Democrats are any worse or better than Republicans. And in the United Kingdom, I'm not saying that the social party of Keir Starmer, Labour, is any better uh, than this Rishi Sunak setup. No, but look at all the phones that have broadcast information and all the conversations that have been recorded. Look at all the things that have been plotted and planned from um, the CEOs of Merck and Pfizer and Johnson and & Johnson and Moderna. Look at all the information that's been collected on the Biden administration, on Biden himself and on Hunter Biden and on Trump and his network. All of that information, all those recorded conversations of conspiracies and ideas of how to plot and plan, not only for the so-called enemies of the West, but equally on the other side for the enemies of the West tracking and taking all this information for their benefit. Ask yourself, why has none of it been revealed? Not one conversation. And the reason for that is that the Twitter and the Instagram and the TikTok and the chat, LBTQ, whatever it's called, all of it is there to do one thing, to keep you distracted, to th make everybody think everything's been shared uh, and uh, is uh, openly available, but it's all being hidden and, and coerced behind the scenes. So that's a very big question that everybody should be asking. If you say something and use the N-word, or if you say something offensive about um, the local tranny group that's operating in your area, or say that Satanism shouldn't be taught to six-year-olds in schools, then 
You've got the police knocking on your door within probably 30 seconds and a SWAT group outside your house. So, or SWAT team. So, this is the extent of the, uh, the oppression. This is the extent of the tyranny and the control and the mental lockdown that had been placed upon you. Yet, at the same time, everything that's happening out there for the people who want to control it, not one conversation by Rishi Sunak, not one conversation by, uh, or, or a, a hidden conversation on, um, by Fauci or Schumer or Schiff, in the United States or Feinstein, nothing ever gets broadcast, nothing ever gets revealed. And believe me, they are plotting and they have been involved in such crime and conspiracies that would make your head spin if you heard them. So that's question number one. Why? The next question is quite an important one as well, because this also highlights the degree to which you have been fucked over historically and the, um, the, the planetary psyche has been taken to hell uh, in a handbasket. Um, and it's in the notion of pieces of paper. Just very simple pieces of paper. There's two dollar bills here, and I'm just using those for international, um, uh, I suppose, reasons. Everybody recognizes them. We have two pieces of paper here. Now, these pieces of paper, do you know how much roughly it costs for the Federal Reserve to print these? Well, the answer is a few cents. It's either between four and six cents dependent upon inflation. And it doesn't matter whether there's a one written on it, whether there's a hundred written on it, or a thousand written on it, it still costs them about the same. Now, here's the thing. Once that's printed and put into circulation, whether it, it ends up in your hand through your wage packet, whether it ends up in your hand being distributed through an ATM, or whether it ends up in your hand because the bank manager credits the loan into your hand, what we've got here is you receive something valued at four cents, but now what have you got to do to pay it back? Let's use the hundred as an example. In the United States, probably the average working uh, hourly rate is around, let's say, 15, let's say to $20 an hour. You've got to work five hours to pay four cents back. It's a catastrophe. It's one of the biggest threats in full view that's ever been perpetrated on people, yet they think, ah, the trigger is, oh, it's a hundred. No, it's not. I could, you, we could get one and put 10 million on it. Imagine, let's say we did a 10 million one and put it into your hand, yeah? Now you've got to pay the 10 million back. It's cost them nothing to generate it, and you've got to then expend uh, sweat, labor, or service equity to pay it back. So what they are doing is for very, very little, in fact, minimal, if any cost, they're trapping you then into an hourly rate or an hourly method or um, a, a service-based return, which is in far uh, of excess of what is actually being contributed to you. And people just miss the point on that. It doesn't matter really about the fractional reserve system or the fact that uh, money is lent and then lent again and lent again. The fundamental problem of all of this is that the, the promissory note, the piece of paper, the promise um, has been misinterpreted as the actual value. And that's something that I just strongly would like everybody to, to, to consider um, and start looking at the world as it is, because it isn't as it is. It's nothing more than a series of delusional tricks that are perpetrated on you and that the social compliance is really what keeps it moving along and along and along. As I say, the biggest one is, for example, and I mentioned this before in previous videos, 
um, 2000, uh, 2001, September 9-11, we know for a fact that it was not a plane that brought down the Twin Towers, um, but the information and the knowledge that is factual and based on physics and on um, seismographical information in the hands of the Chinese, in the hands of the Russians, in the hands of the Iranians, and in the hands of almost every um, university or place of further education worldwide that's got a, a reasonably sensitive seismograph can prove that the underground vibrations, which have a signature as unique as any fingerprint on any individual on the planet, can prove quite categorically the cause of the buildings coming down, leading me just in conclusion there to say it wasn't called ground zero by chance. There was a message being broadcast to you and the, the human, the psyche, the collective psyche, the psychosis on the planet was probably changed and embedded into a downward spiral from that point to where we are now uh, 23 years later, coming into a time of now uh, potential nuclear war. Um, but let's see, everything's possible. Um, and uh, so that's all I wanted to say today, the shortest video I've done for quite some time. Hope you enjoyed it. Press all the buttons and do uh, all that liking, and uh, I'll see you again very soon with a very important announcement on Area 52. Thank you.